Okay, here we go. Where are the boots? Dark World, okay. Awesome start, okay. Yeah, this is Ambrosia. Um, Ambrosia mode for the randomizer. Um, it's very similar to open. Um, maps, compasses, small keys, and big keys are still in their dungeon. Um, they'll be assorted within the dungeon, but they're at least in their dungeon. Um, items are still randomized across the world. Um, but the key differences compared to open is you start with a sword in Ambrosia, and then the uncle will tell you where the boots are. So, um, you have a little bit more of a standard start. Um, so, I, I, in my opinion, that's it's kind of a bit easier to deal with. Um, I wouldn't call it easy, but it's... I think it's the most beginner-friendly of the, um, of the five standard randomizer setups. Um, I think open, like, open is your bread and butter, um, Ambrosia is, like, a bit more of a dip to get your toes wet. That was a terrible thing. Um, so... We're going for our first win of Season 1. Um, we are currently 0-3. Only a few people have worse records than I do right now. Um, just the way it goes, you know? Doesn't help that we try to cross keys when we know that we're not good at cross keys and we did terribly on a mystery seed, so. <laughs> but, you know, as we've said, it's all about learning. I think, you know, the, the losses I've taken, you know, the close losses are one thing. I'll learn from those for sure. Um, and the big losses or the forfeits, you know, it's fine. Like, I feel even those have had some benefit to me. Yeah, as I said, uh, standard start, um, so we have to rescue Princess Zelda and get her to the Sanctuary. After that, the seed is completely open again. Oh, the one other big difference between open and Ambrosia. Um, so each dungeon, you know how many items you can find in there besides the map's compass keys. Um, one item is guaranteed to be on the boss of that dungeon. So, for example, um, Eastern Palace, the first dungeon you complete in the normal game, has three items in it. Um, so usually you know, you know, if you find three items beforehand, you know the last, or you know that the boss, um, our most knights, wouldn't have an item. In Ambrosia, you will only find two out in the rest of the world, or in the dungeon. So, a little bit simplified for routing. Um, it can also mean, you know, it can speed up dungeons. So, like, some of the big ones, um, Desert, Tower of Hera, Misery Mire, um, I think... Ice Palace, even in some cases, um, those are dungeons that have fewer items, so they're, like, it's easier to say, hey, I've gotten all the items, let's just go on. Um, 
So Meyer is a big one. Like Meyer has a lot of checks. So if you can know earlier that Vitreus has the second item, then you only really have to look for um, one item in the rest of the dungeon. Um, one of the things about standard mode starts like this, you might notice that I have a lamp and I don't actually have the lamp. Um, the game gives you a light cone while um, navigating this exit when you have Princess Zelda. So, some little things to help make it a little easier. Um, But yes, uh, thank you for all the hosts, auto hosts, tending. You no, know, appreciate it. A little different of a time, um, but there was a seven o'clock race, and I said, why not enter a seven o'clock race? So six minutes and twenty six minutes thirty seconds to get through escape. Not terrible. Um, definitely there's people a lot faster than that. Um, a good standard escape time is roughly about six minutes, so I'm about 30 seconds slower than some of the better players. But like I said, you know, this is pretty good. I can only improve that time, I think. I feel like I can only get better. So none of the crazy shenanigans from last night. Um, it's not going to be a pedestal seed. Oh, that was the red cane. Oh, that's ugly. Uh, red cane is needed for Misery Mire or Turtle Rock, um, usually, to com or it's needed for those two dungeons to complete them. So there's a good chance we have to defeat Aghanim. You want a trolley thing to start this race. Like, if you want to see me having to suffer a little bit, that is one of those things that'll cause me to suffer. <laughs> That's actually a good thing. So hopefully everybody's having a good Monday. Um, mine was relaxing today. Um, I know tomorrow we're gonna it's gonna be back to normal grind, but today was at least a, a fairly calm Monday. I'm making a competition of my race with Joe at least. Uh, she's still beating me, big, um, but. I, I'm working on, I think, one of the harder ones now. Um, Moonlighter. Uh, fun game. I'm glad I started it this time. I actually have, like playing it. Let's see, we got the hook shot, we got a bottle. So, but then we did bar loan sales. Um, that one was pretty quick. Master sword already, okay. We're finding all the bombs to start this seed though. That's really interesting. 
Big money. Lots of money. The hammer already. Wow. What kind of seed is this? These are not two things you should find that quickly. I mean, I'm not mad. That's good, but wow. Sure. Loot. Fine. I'm very happy with this start. Oh boy. Oh baby. Donut powder, so we can't do magic bat. <coughs> <coughs> Check the library. Bombs doesn't matter. Okay. So we know the boots are in the dark world. I don't know what that necessarily will mean. Um, but that's a interesting starting situation for sure. Okay, so first up, we're going to do the dam. Um, flute does at least allow us to kind of limit our save and quits. Uh, what would be a dark world though? So I'm, I'm trying to parse language here. Dark world is a very um, generalized statement um, for what kind of location it could be. Um, that could be like on the pyramid. Uh, that is technically a dark world location. I believe the Quake Fish is a dark world location. Um, I think Stumpy and the Shovel Game are. Um, there's a few locations in Dark Kakariko Village. So really, once we get the Moon Pearl, that kind of gives us at least some places to work with. Sword beams. Makes my life easy. Heart piece. Ruby. Heart piece. Moon pearl. Okay. Okay, so that means we got dark world access already. At 13 minutes. Nearly 14, but whatever. I still want to check Ice Rod Cave. Um, it's one of those locations that I'm really not going to do much with if I don't do it now. Like, there's nothing that pulls you in this direction after you do Mini Moldorm Cave. So I want to do this now. Um, after this, we're going to flute... I could get the Titan's Mitts, then I would say that I would go to Dark, or to Death Mountain. But since I don't... Um, let's do... Sort of some of the basic checks of D Dark World. We'll 
check Hype Cave, Pyramid. I want to try to get the boots ASAP. So there's not a ton of spots that could have them. So we're just trying to hit those spots now. Mirror. Amazing. Okay, so it wasn't here in Hype Cave. But we did get the mirror and we got our fire shield. That's a good start, actually. So we're going to check the pyramid, and I think we're going to do Quakefish. So. Good start, though, item-wise. Um, I'm... It's not like I'm perfectly set, but these are definitely great items to have found already. Um, and really, if I can find the boots, either here or Quakefish, I can make a really long loop. Okay, not there, but I'll still grab those. Um, I've only got five bombs, so let's at least get a little bit of a refill. Hoping to find a bow before I go to combo Eastern and Pod. Oh yeah, let's, we should check also the crystal situation. Green pendant there and mire. So. Not a big deal, to be honest. Yeah, what I'm hoping is, is that the boots are here, and then I can use this as kind of a, a quick loop of overworld checks. can't check. I could only check Zora, and that's a lot of money, so we're just going to skip that for now. What's left? Dark World. Gotta be Dark Kakariko Village. Part of the reason I wanted the boots is I could have checked um, King's Tomb with just the mirror and not needing the Titan's Mitts because I could have mirrored to where King's Tomb is. Like I could have mirrored inside of this bush here. But instead I'm doing a bit of a slow check to get to this now. Because you need the uh, boots to get into King's Tomb. Okay. Magic Powder, that's actually a really good find. We can definitely do something with that. Um, and it's a good safety item. Gotta take the long way around. That's the only problem when you want to do these um, graveyard 
area checks, um, because unfortunately, uh, Titan's Mitts and or Boots makes that a lot easier, but without either of them, it's super slow. Uh, we're going to do a quick um, check of Bumper Ledge. Um, I would prefer not to have to get Bumper Ledge. But, you know, never know. Okay, we don't have to do Bumper Ledge. area. And we'll actually probably do Thieves Town now, because honestly, um, not only do we have all the items to full clear Thieves Town, but we also have the cane of Burna. So I've got excellent safety for against blind. Okay, still not... <sighs> the boots have to be here, really. There's not... <clears throat> There's not much else it can be. <laughs> Not the kind of footwear I was hoping for. Like, boots will save so much time in Thieves Town that I... <coughs> I want them. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I want boots. One last check. the Dark World variety. Um, there's one location in Dark World I'm not able to check based on my current equipment. I would need the Titan Smiths for it, and it's a uh, Peg Cave. loop is going to be stumpy. Wasn't stumpy either. Okay, that's fine. We tried. Uh, I think that means... Uh, actually, no. There's a lot of um, dark Death Mountain locations now that I think about it. So, that is a possibility. But without the Titan's Mitts, we can't even go to Dark Death Mountain. Like, we can do a lot of Death Mountain checks right now. Um, with my current equipment, I could do Spec Rock, Top of Spectacle Rock. I could clear out most of Hera if it's not fire locked. I could do Spiral Cave for one check, and I could do the five checks of. Um, no, sorry, seven item checks for Paradox Cave. So, like, there's a lot I can do there. Um, it's just slow. Right now. Um, 
well, not slow. Um, I would just prefer, if I had the lamp, then I could guarantee my ability to do um, Old Man Rescue as well as full clear of Hera. Although at this point, considering uh, Misery Mire is my only pendant in the Dark World, that means two out of the three Light World dungeons are only pendants. So, like, there's not necessarily a lot in the Light World in terms of the dungeons. There's still a lot of locations we didn't do. Like, we did not check uh, Sahashrila's Closet. Um, so, like, that's three items that we've not gone back for. But at this point, like, I'm kind of just hoping for a bow. Uh, Thieves Town is four items, by the way. We got our first one. Yeah, we got one so far. You no, know, blind has one, so we're still looking for two items before um, we can just go mode the rest of the dungeon. But I mean, this is a, a logical place for me to go first. After we finish Thieves Town, we can do um, Magic Bat. Um, if we've got Powder and Hammer, we can do that. Um, only one item, but it's right here. So, like, why not? can just go fight blind. Um, so the hope really is that the last item is in the maiden cell. Because if it's in the maiden cell, then the... Actually, can it? No, maiden cell has to be the small key at this point. Sorry, just thinking out loud here with the logic. Oh wait. No, of course. Logically, um, the small key can lock itself. That's right. That is actually a logical possibility, is that the small key can be in the big chest, in the room that it would lock itself in. So... said, we still need to find those boots. Um, I'm going to need a lamp to do Aga Tower to get the um, 
uh, red cane. So those are heavy blocks. We can't lift those without the mitts. That's fine. Next thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to do our Zora checks. big deal. But we're going to do um, a little loop of all the Zora stuff. Um, we're going to... I want to check Hylia Island, so we're actually going to go here to four. So Hylia Island is not important. Now we're going to check the hobo. Actually, I wonder if it's quicker to flute off of that water spot instead of doing a full swim. Hobo was worthless. issue with doing it this way is I'm going to be using all 500 or almost all of my money for this check, um, which means that if I wanted to go do pod next, at least as a check, and really I can do almost all of pod. Um, even without a bow, I can do almost all of it because I've got a potion, um, so I could do the potion glitch. Actually, I know what my next check's going to be. Um, is that fully clearable? Yeah. What a scam. But we're going to go do um, Swamp. Um, I've got Hookshot, Hammer, Flippers, Mirror. That's your uh, Swamp Palace kit. I'd rather do dungeons I can full clear instead of ones that I can't. have to rely on luck of the draw to get the item I need.
Okay, so the thing about Swamp Palace is it's got six items. Um, we know that one of them is on Argus, um, but here's the thing. Uh, Swamp Palace is infamous for always having stuff on the left side of it. And that pretty much guarantees that there's going to be at least one item on the left side, I think. Like, there's a very specific route that could have no items on the left side, or there's like, like a very specific placement of things, where the left side is, um, like, map and compass, but it is so rare, like, you'll probably never see it, or map, compass, and the big key chest has the big key. Like, no. <laughs> Okay, so stun prize is 5 rupees. Um, when you stun an enemy, they always drop the same thing. And this seed, stun prize is just 5 bucks. So on the plus side, we, we're kind of limited the options of where the boots are to two locations, um, and what's blocking where the, the boots are has to be the Titan's boots. Um, so, like, unless my opponent has found the Titan's boots already, I'm in decent shape from a logical standpoint. Dopey. Yeah, I still haven't adjusted my ranks. <laughs> well, here's the here's the thing. Here's what I need to decide. Um Well, that for one, but What's causing me not to know what to do is I've decided what I want to do is I want to make my ranks games that we've done on stream and have done a lot of on stream. So there's quite a few. But what I want to decide is, is that should the low ranks be the good games or the bad games? So as you as your rank improves, you should be a better game. Okay. got the map and the compass. We're still missing the... Um, the big key, though. That's the only dungeon item we're missing. I'm hoping I don't have to use my blue potion yet. But... That could be a little tricky.
Yeah, we're really trying tonight. I feel like so far I'm not making any big mistakes besides like growing pains of learning to route. But I'm I'm pretty ha happy with how I'm playing so far. Big key, hard piece. Okay, we're gonna go beat um, Argus, and then we're gonna come back for the big chest. There's nothing in the big chest that can make Argus better, and I don't want to have to deal with routing around. Going back upstairs and all that crap. So we're just gonna do Argus first. Unfortunately, we still don't have the boots, but, you know, as I've said, we know roughly where they are. Argus kill could have been a little better. Still missing both the fire and the ice rod, which we need, um, but we know that the red cane is in Lumberjack, so that doesn't really speed or slow me down much. Um, until I get the boots, I can't get the, the cane of Samaria. So, like, until I get the Cane of Samaria, I really can't do Turtle Rock anyway. So, like, that's a... That's a minor gripe. Like, nothing that's... serious for me. Where are we gonna go next, though? There's only one check in desert area, and that's just me getting the okay. um, Agena. So let's do Eastern Pod combo at this point. I can't full clear either because I'm still missing a bow, but it at least gives me like there's a ton of items here. Let's see. Para and Desert are pendants. So at least Eastern's a crystal. A uh, new race. Always a new race. Um, every six hours, uh, there's a race. Um, so the way it works is they set up um, five modes for the season. Um, so open, ambrosia, um, inverted key sanity, cross keys, and mystery. So this is the um, Ambrosia tonight. And then in six hours, there'll be a different one, and then six hours from that. Um, and then, like, every fourth race, they separate it by seven hours. So it's a fully rotating schedule, really. Um, it's actually really smart what they did. Um, so, like, you know, Ambrosia's tonight at seven, the next Ambrosia will be like Wednesday at some ungodly hour, probably. Um, but you know, everybody, you know, if you, if you want to do a certain race type or a certain mode, 
of those five, like you're guaranteed to probably see it in a decent hour for you at least once a week. Um, and races should only take like, I say should, but um, like you're given five hours to complete this the race. Um, last night we did forfeit, unfortunately. Um, I was just frustrated and lost, so I said, screw it. Bad attitude to take, but honestly, um, well, Cash was watching, and it was, it was sad. Like, I was not in a good mood. like to forfeit, um, unless it's, like, really a bad one, but, um, we were down to some bad checks, and I was making, like, mental errors all over the place. Um... Honestly, like, some of my worst not thought processes... <laughs> Um, it was a pedestal goal. <laughs> it's a tough decision. I get that. I've had that problem. Oh, crap. I can't use it without a... some health. So what we're doing here is called a potion glitch. As you walk to the left in this room, if you use a potion, what happens is, is you can, um, cause the screen to scroll and move the mimics off screen. <laughs> and if they're off screen, it thinks they're dead. So then you can get through that room without a bow. <laughs> this is an out of logic check by me now. Oh crap, I can't even do that room because I don't have a lamp. Okay, that was money. 300 rupees money. Unfortunately, I can't do dark rooms yet, so... We're gonna check Eastern. Um, maybe we get lucky and find a bow. Or something. Value. Um, 
Um, we're only looking for two items, though. Third item is on Armos, so we've only got a two out of three shot. Big key. Okay. Yeah, I've been terrible about picking games some days. And then I ask, you know, everybody in uh, Discord, like, what should I play? Putting my problems on everybody else. <laughs> Help with my indecision. <laughs> So does that mean, um, and this is going to be like me being a snot, um, let's see, no Rattalakas, uh, <laughs> let's see, what else would not be in there? Uh, no East Asia Softs, no Sometimes Use. <laughs> Um, I mean, you could just do some, uh, like, are you encouraged to do a new, oh, a bow. Are you encouraged to do a new game each time? Because, like, you could put in, like... Okay. Um... I'm just thinking, like, you could put... Uh... You know, if there's, like, a, a game that you've wanted to do and just do it for that, like... That's a good one. Um, I was also going to say you could do like um, Hollow Knight, Indivisible. Um, what else? Celeste. Oh, yeah. Um, like, there's a lot of really good longer ID type games if you want to just showcase ID stuff and just go for some of the big ones and just make it, you know, hey, I'm going to show my time with this game, or, you know, completing this game. I mean, that's what I did for some of those games, but, you know, I don't know if that's a thought. Okay, we're gonna try to limit the Hera checks. There's only two items in Hera. And if this isn't the big key, we're locked out. Anyway. Okay, we're not locked out. Right. <laughs> Come on. take that long. <laughs> Come 
Come on, item. Please do not have the last item in this dungeon be fire locked. Yes! Okay. We still didn't find an item here, but at least we're making a quick clear of Hera. But I'm kind of like, I just, I'm only checking this because it's on the way and I don't have a better thing to check right now. Like, if I had the lamp, I could, well, I could finish Pod Eastern and then do Aga. Really what I want is to find Titan Mitts. Like, if I can find the Titan's Mitts, then I've got some options. Shovel, okay. Not a great item to find. Like, I'm not really a fan of finding the shovel because it's just a one-off annoying location. But... And I think while I'm up here, I'm gonna check Spike Cave. I don't want to, but I've got an invincibility item. I've actually got two invincibility items. So, uh, let's also check what's on the floating island. Half magic, okay. That's actually... Ooh, that's a tough one. I, I would very much like to have half magic. On mitts. Fire rod, ten bombs, okay. Still a good find. Blue mail, that's okay. Not necessary, but good. That's the big one. Like I said, there was only a few locations left that the, the boots could be, and one of them was Dark Death Mountain. I mean, if we're going to play a bad platformer, I'm going to say, of course, where are my friends? I mean, I could say some really good um, multiplayer games. The thing is, is like if you want to do something that I, I don't watch ambassadors enough to know what they've normally done, but I feel like I've seen like Human Fall Flat and Overcooked so many times already that I don't know if they'd be as good of a start. I don't know. But if you're gonna start. Yeah. Um, so I wonder, like, a good starting option. What about, like, totally reliable de delivery service or um, moving out?
There's those boots. The lamp. I think that's a good idea. I think, you know, the only question would be, you know, first time. You want to do that for your first one, but no, it's the right week for it, especially given that, like, the game is just coming out. So we got the lamp, we got the boots, we got half magic. And I did make a big error there, actually. Unfortunately, um, I didn't check what the medallion was for Turtle Rock. And I have two out of three right now. I was right there, I could have checked it. Dang. By the way, we got blue balls tonight. We should do. Um, since we're having to fight Aga. I believe it's already reset. we don't get too many blue balls. <laughs> Always a pain, but, you know, one can hope. <laughs> really, Jess? Right? 
What the flip was that? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever fallen there like that. an energy shot. Three. Four. Oh my god. blue balls. That's actually pretty average, to be honest. There's definitely worse. Silver arrows, okay. Not necessary, but appreciated. It'll probably save more time getting the silver arrows than it took to get them since I was already going this way. To do uh, bonk rocks and the lumberjack. Jack, like, what kind of seed is this? Ice rod away from go mode? Unless we still need a medallion. And that's my mistake at this point. Okay, Skull Woods is only two items. I'm gonna just run for the back of Skull Woods and hope it's there. Um, we're just gonna do the back half of it, and then if I don't get both items in the back, then we'll come back and do the front half. But at this point, like, Skull Woods has a higher likelihood of both of the items being in the back portion.
so. I don't know, this this run does feel better. Like, besides the fact that I had to go fight Aghanim, which always sucks. Um I feel like my movement's pretty good. I could have routed like differently. <laughs> Not necessarily like a ton better. Like Um, but I don't know, I feel like what I'm doing looks closer to what I want my own ability to look like. Like the, I, I feel like the repetition is starting to show. Like, results are starting to show from it. Okay, so we still need to check one other... We need to find one other item in Skull Woods. Um, what we'll do is we'll go down through the low route here, and then if it's here, then we're done. If not, we'll just have to scour some spots. Dang it. After I just said how much better I thought my routing and my execution was today. about halfway through the seed, though, in terms of crystals. Um, Eastern and Pod will be... Pod, we're going to have to do a little bit extra, because we still have to get the big key and check the Dark Maze. But Eastern is just a straight go-kill Armos at this point. doing a full clear of Skull Woods just to find this one flippin' item. You better be worthwhile. It's gonna be worthless at this rate. Just to mock me. That was pretty worthless. Okay, we're gonna do... Um, there's a couple of checks I want to do in... Thieves, or, uh, Dark Kakariko. Um, we're gonna do... Jeremiah. Um... <laughs> 
and Peg Cave, and then we'll do, um, we'll grab the lunchbox. I don't need it, but I might as well grab it. That was bottles two and three I've got. Drop off the blacksmith, walk out the door, walk back in. And you got nothing. Head back through my portal. I might have made this check and I'm just realizing it now. <laughs> But whatever. Yep, I did. Oops. I'm a dope. Gotta ch take b better care to mark these things as I do them. And I left the the chest in Dark World. That was not smart. Now I have to grab it again. I did realize there is a check that I can do along the way. I didn't do the, uh, the shovel. So we'll take the long-ish way, make sure we do our shovel check. So after we drop off the lunchbox, we're going to do Pod Eastern combo. Then we'll go do Ice. Then we'll have to make a tough decision if I don't find Ice Rod. <laughs> Why? Why is it always the ice rod? There's definitely something about that ice rod that just baffles me. It eludes me and causes me to have to make the stupidest checks possible. There's my big key.
The falls tonight. You're right. Don't know what it is. I am just falling all over the place. a little too early there. You need the bow to do that. Now we pull out the hammer. Wanted full health for this next room because then I don't have to switch to a ranged weapon. Just go flash. Sword beams are great, except for the fact that if you hit with the sword beam instead of the sword, you do less damage. Sword beam damage is not as good. sword. Okay. We are going to be well armed to fight Ganon at the end of this. That is for sure. That room, there's actually four of those little stalf blue Stalfos enemies, um, but based on movement patterns of how you enter the room, um, <laughs> you can actually despawn two of them. I've usually only gotten to 
uh, despawn one of them because my ability to despawn the center one is kind of lacking, but when I've got sword beams, I can actually get it. <laughs> Either Ice Palace or we check out the Mire area. You know what? We're gonna make a quick detour to here. I'm not gonna actually go into Mire. Um, Mire's just gonna take too long to clear it. Um, it's just such a slow dungeon, but I want to check a few things that are here in the desert area, because I haven't done any desert checks. But between Desert Ledge, uh, Mire Shed, Checkerboard Cave, and Agena, uh, we cut that too close. Um, like, these few checks are probably quicker than like, if I can do these checks and then be able to possibly go mode Ice Palace, then that'd be amazing. Air Shield and Arrows. I don't like pulling the Mirror Shield. Um, mirror Shield, unfortunately, is laggy. need that heart container? No. But, why not? It's an easy, quick heart. Okay, if it's not here, then we're going to do Ice Palace. Um, Ice Palace is a crystal, I have to clear that dungeon anyway. So, that's next. No matter what. Like, if I find Ice Rod here... Of course I don't. Um, so, like, I have to clear Ice Palace anyway, so let's go do it. I can avoid doing mire or desert, like, it's only gonna benefit me. They're long dungeons, they're annoying dungeons to do, like... Well, they're pendant dungeons. Who wants to do a pendant dungeon? Ah! Darn it. ish item away from go mode like the elephant in the room here is still the question of the medallion for um turtle rock like i'm hoping to find quake somewhere just to put my mind at ease But 
obviously, you know, there's a high likelihood I'm not gonna be eased <laughs> mentally. Unfortunately, I really haven't found anything yet, so there's no reason for me to do the bomb jump at this point. Like, I just need to clear the dungeon like normal. Roughly normal. Jerk. I really do hate Ace, Ice Palace. And it hates me back. I know. Besides having to clear um, Aga, though, this has been a fairly cooperative seed. Could have routed things a little better if I had done Hera before doing a pod play. Um, just because, like, that could have given us, that would have given us the Titan Mints and the, the bow and the lamp. So then I could have, I wouldn't have had to do a double dip of Eastern and Pod. So, like, eh. Like, that's annoying, but not the worst thing. items. Tells me this is a, a small key. Yep. Like I said, it's these little things, like, I need to, to know. Thank <laughs> you. 
But after this, we're going to gamble on the ice rod being into Turtle Rock. Or Not a gamble anymore. So the gamble at this point is... Is Turtle Rock Ether or Quake or Ether or Bombos? I've got a 66% chance of it being one of those two. Here's hoping. Really? I guess that's the icing on the cake for tonight, really. At this point, like, me falling is appropriate. Exactly! Pro tip, don't fall. I can't even take that advice at this point. I'm just falling all over the place. Come on, RNG. Don't be quake, don't be quake. Please don't be quake. Bombos! Okay, we need to find three small keys and the big key. At least. No. Three smalls and a big. Um, I can skip. I can grab the. Uh, I get the big key early, then I'll know what I can do certain places. Um, unfortunately, go moding this dungeon is not all that different from not go moding it. Sorry, I love item dashing. It's so much fun. <laughs> Hammer dash and burn a dash are like two of the coolest little tricks that I've seen, and I love doing them. <laughs> This has to be a key. Chomps are so flippin' powerful.
Okay, I think the lava chest here has to be um, the big key. So I do need to pull it. So I actually need to find all four small keys in this dungeon. Unfortunately. Which means I'll more than likely have to pull off of... Yep, there was the big key. Uh, so I'll more than likely need to do laser bridge. I was hoping not to. But can't win them all. Can't get lucky all the time. could have skipped the big chest that's going to come up, but unfortunately, um, because I do need a small key still, um, and I don't know if it's going to be in the big chest, I don't want to risk it not being where I need it. So, like, I could have skipped that. Um, I could have taken the door after killing those two pokies. And skipped the big chest, and I would have been fine. But you know, you gotta you gotta weigh your options on what is safe or not in terms of what the. F Come on. How many times have I done that room? Like, and had had none of that happen with this the Samaria cast, and then that time, nope. Okay, so we're going to Laser Bridge. Um, we only need a small key. That's all I need. Um, the reason why I change um, from Ice Rod to Fire Rod before taking out the first head, by the way, is you can't open the menu while these explosions are happening. So you want to do the change before to save, you know, the explosion time to start working on the final head. Okay, Ganon's tower, Ganon, and we are done.
It's worthless. I've got a case of the falls tonight, I really do. Really bad case of it too. Thirteen are up next. <laughs> Quake and a fourth bottle. That is amazing. That's just the only item on the tracker we haven't found yet is the mushroom. <laughs> Left side did not yield me the big key. I don't care. We're gonna. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> Yeah, all we need is the big key, then we can start climbing the tower. <laughs>
Yeah, unfortunately, like the only the only thing I really changed about the way I routed, like I made a couple of bonehead mistakes routing wise, but. Well, that's not surprising. Um, yeah, the only thing that I was really, really bad about my routing tonight was... Um, was I could have hit um, Death Mountain sooner. Like, that would have given me a bit more momentum. No! Crap. Shit. Sorry, that's really bad. Oof. Like, to a high degree of... That bothers me. That's such terrible execution to have that happen. Like, I know my execution's not good. So, like, I need to not make this the big stupid errors because I'm going to make tons of small ones. Sub two hours is still possible, but I would need a really good tower, I think, and even then it's probably unlikely. I don't know how long it takes to do it. I think the two hours is out. <laughs> will be over too on this one. Don't care, we're bombosing. We're still gonna bombos. <laughs> rooms were actually half decent. If I could work on the others. <laughs> Short hop bastard. <laughs>
decent recovery. Yeah, I think I can't just dash down the center there. I think there's a reason why people don't do that. Because I've noticed myself get hit by those guys more often than not. I think I would have been sub two hour if it wasn't for the fact that uh, we made that big error on uh, getting the big key. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to kill Agatu and Ganon in the next two minutes. My Agatu has been pretty bad. put in our done. We're not done yet, but let's just get it prepped. Still a chance. Sword makes this fight so quick. And he's not teleporting? Wow. Wow. base or belong to us. How did we do? I lost by 15 minutes. Darn.
Yep. I don't recognize the guy that I played, but he's uh, pretty good. So 15 minutes, yeah. He did stop in my stream. A lot of had silvers. So. So he didn't find those. <laughs> so I made too many checks. <laughs> okay, let's speed up the... Uh, because I don't need all this. I just want to get to the, the end screen. So, yeah, that Ice Rod Go mode is never a fun one. Turns out my opponent did not check Lumberjack and didn't know that Samario was the, uh, the Lumberjack prize for a while. So, that will definitely slow you down. Unfortunately, that Ice Rod is not my friend. So my timer says 20104. How close am I actually on hitting the timers? Uh, seven seconds difference. So that means I'm 0 4 this season now. <laughs> we'll eventually uh, get a win, I'm sure. Just gotta keep it up. You know, keep trying. Part of it is, is I, I should have gone to Death Mountain earlier. Um, I had the flute, I had the hook shot, I had the hammer. I could have done all of those checks that I did of Death Mountain. And I had the mirror. I could have done all that um, a ton sooner. And I just... I had this greed of if I had the Titan's Mitts, then I could have done it all then. And that wasn't the right move. Um, so, you know, that's that's definitely one of those things I need to understand is density. Um, there's definitely a lot of, like, that idea of saying, if I go that direction earlier...
um, you know, knowing that there were the seven items on East Death Mountain plus Spectacle Rock plus um, Top of Spectacle Rock plus the two Hera items. And I don't even remember if Hera had anything. But, like, those checks up on Death Mountain all would have helped my routing later. Not 15 minutes better, but definitely better. And I, I probably shouldn't have checked Meyer. Um, the shed and the checkerboard cave and Agena at that point. I should have just cut my losses and said, go to Ice Palace earlier. You know, little things like that. Um, so... You know, I have to be willing to do dungeons and not just say, I hate this dungeon. You know, go do your crystal dungeons. Go, go do your denser item checks. And then, when you're out of good options, do the bad ones. And I'm, at this point, still doing bad. So, bad options. But for uh, doing seven crystals, one pendant, and aga, just over two hours isn't terrible. Um, but I'm going to cut it here. So first we're gonna end we're gonna end the recording um and the stream. Um I might do the race tomorrow night. Let me check what the mode is tomorrow. I think there's a race at eight PM tomorrow night. Um Ew, it's cross keys tomorrow night. I've never finished a cross keys. Uh We'll see. I'll think about it. Um, but until then, until whenever the next stream is, if I don't do the... Well, I do have gems this week as well for uh, Guild Wars, so um, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of racing, just because I'm going to have to help out with that stuff and do those battles. So I don't know when, but I will have streams this week. Um, have a good rest of your Monday nights.